BJP working president JP Nadda appears set to be elected as its next national president on January 20, succeeding Amit Shah, with the party yesterday announcing the schedule for election to its top organizational post. Media sources said that Nadda, who has decades of organizational experience, is likely to be elected unopposed as has been the convention in the organization. Chief Minister of Manipur and Biran today said that the government has adequate fund for further development of road connectivity in the state. He also mentioned about the development and changes brought about by the BJP-led government in Manipur. He said this during a program at BJP Kanchipur office, Imphal, where altogether seven members of different political parties, including Vice Chairman of Oinam Municipal Council, O Moirang Ningtho, and one Autonomous District Council ADC member of Chandal District, were given warm reception as they joined the BJP fold. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Dev said that it will take at least six months to resettle 34,000 Bru people living in the state for close to 23 years. Dev's statement came a day after the tripartite agreement to solve the Riang refugee problem was signed involving the state governments of Mizoram and Tripura and the centre. The CM also said that a historic agreement was signed on Thursday putting an end to the over two decade old problem. A Hepatitis Awareness Week has kick-started today on the theme Empowering People Against Hepatitis at the Jubilee Hall of Regional Institute of Medical Science RIMS Lumfail Path Infa. The event is jointly organized by Airports Authority of India, Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences, New Delhi and Regional Institute of Medical Science. A forest fire reportedly broke out at Shirui Kashong, popularly known as Shirui Peak in Manipur's Ukrul district yesterday. As per reports, the fire started around 1 p.m. yesterday and slowly started engulfing the entire peak. 22 years old Shangmin Tongsin Anal was crowned the second edition of Miss Chakpi 2020 on January 15 last during a glittering evening at the Indo Stadium, Japho Bazaar of Chandal District, Manipur. Lina Dilbung and Shangrina Nula backed the first and second runner subtitles respectively in the beauty pageant. The National Testing Agency MTA has declared the results of the Joint Entrance Examination JEE Main 2020. It was announced to be declared on January 31st, however, was released in advance for BE and BTEC aspirants. Union Tourism Minister Prahlad Singh Patel yesterday said that the anti-government protest against the amendment citizenship law did not affect the tourism industry. The minister released numbers indicating that more foreigners have arrived in India in last two months of 2019 compared to the corresponding period in 2018. Soon after Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre's alleged comment, Terming Patri in Parbhani as Sai Baba's birthplace, Sai Baba Sansthan Trust has called for the indefinite closure of Shirdi from tomorrow. As per media reports, the decision was taken by the administrative body of Sai Baba's Samadhi to protest against Chief Minister Udhav Thakre's announcement to allot Rs 100 crore for development of Patri in Parbhani, which is believed to be Sai Baba's birthplace. Five Army Dogs Old Labradors have been recognized for their heroics on the battlefield and awarded top honors for valor and devotion to duty. Two Army officers sat on Friday asking not to be named. Assam and Manipur pocketed a silver and bronze each in the girls under 21 to 49 kg weightlifting event at the ongoing third Kelo India Youth Games 2020 at Guwahati, Assam yesterday. 17-year-old Gitashri Sonowal from Assam won the silver, lifting a total 142 kg, while Manipur's Nomita Devi 
backed the bronze, lifting a total of 141 kg.